Believe it or not, almost all the problems that you and I have in Fortnite today are a result of one ongoing issue that's been divided in the community since chapter one. So what is this issue? Why hasn't it been solved and can it be solved? Let's get into it. At its core, Fortnite is a wacky cartoon game with silly items that doesn't take itself too seriously. At the same time, it has this building aspect that adds a layer of depth, skill, and strategy you can't find in any other game. And it's a unique combination of things that made it stand out and take over the world of gaming in the first place. Since then, it's revolutionized the gaming industry and made headlines many times over the years. And for all the good that's come from it, Fortnite's first time making international headlines sparked the issue that would ultimately become its biggest problem. talk Fortnite, shall we? Fortnite. Fortnite Battle Royale. Mid Chapter 1, Epic began hosting online tournaments and experimenting with different game modes and formats. And a few short months later, announced the largest esports prize pool in history. And it'd be open to anyone with an internet connection. After which, the world freaked out. This is your road to the Fortnite World Cup. With massive amounts of money up for grabs, people began practicing and experimenting with the building mechanic, causing a noticeable skill gap to emerge that even the creators of the game didn't see coming. And from it, a conflict was born. He kept building up and building up and building up and I couldn't catch him. 1400! This guy's one HP, man! How is he doing that? It's not easy being the most popular game in the world, especially when your player base splits into two groups that want completely different things. So Epic being a business, approached the situation as a business and broke down the player data before deciding what to do. However, the data just made things more complicated. Fortnite, like most games, judges its success based off of two main metrics, the amount of players playing the game and the amount of money players are spending in the game. And casuals are the larger group and they also bring in more money too. But competitive players play the game more often and for longer periods of time. So Epic's strategy going forward is to try and level the playing field without losing the game's competitive player base. This way, casuals would hopefully have more fun when they played, leading them to play more often and for longer periods of time. As a result, improving Epic's bottom line. Now, as good as that might sound in a business meeting, what it actually led to was Epic adding or changing things here or there to make one side or the other happy. Whether it was the introduction of overpowered items, arena mode which excluded them, rank which now includes them, and might not include them going forward, zero build mode, victory crowns, weekly tournaments to compete in, or victory cups to make it easier for players to get their first taste of earnings. While those are just a few of the many examples that we've seen over the years, what we've also seen is the skill gap continue to widen, pubs become less casual, and ranks become less competitive only making both groups more angry at each other and angry at Epic. This can definitely be solved. Unfortunately, Epic has only looked to improve the situation when Fortnite's numbers are down. I'm honestly shocked that this has gone on as long as it has, especially since I think that there's a very simple solution where everyone walks away happy. And not just the players, but Epic too. What is this answer? Glad you asked. Casual players hop on Fortnite for the broken items, the silly and chaotic moments they cause, and the laughs that come with them. Competitive players, on the other hand, want a mode that tests and rewards skill, as well as one that can be used to practice for tournaments. And I believe that you can have both these experiences in Fortnite at the same time. All that needs to happen is a few changes to the current modes, as well as adding one new one to the mix. And we'll get to that in a bit, but that brings us to part two. Putting the right incentives in place is essential. The stronger the incentives are, the more they'll impact player behavior. And having fun should be the only reason to play pubs. And it's for that reason that even crown wins should be removed, or only available in ranked. Ranked being a competitive game mode needs to have the same competitive loophole found in tournaments. Because if it doesn't, then, well, what's the point? It also needs to give players a reason to grind the mode, even if it's something as simple as a pickaxe or skin with rank styles to unlock each season. So long as that item isn't something that you need to buy in the item shop. Yes! Yes! No! 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 Regardless what it is, 
The mode needs to give the competitive players, tryhards, and sweats a reason to grind through the ranks and hit Unreal. What happens after you hit Unreal though? That's when tournament mode comes into play. After hitting Unreal, you'll unlock this new mode, which is essentially a season-long tournament with a solo Victory Cup prize pool. Games will be played on each region's tournament servers with an active leaderboard ranking players based off of their average ELIMS and placement, with a minimum amount of games played required to receive prizing. Siphon is the elephant in the room when it comes to Fortnite ranked and competitive. It was a part of competitive from the very start, and no one wanted it to change or ever expected it to change. But it did, and Siphon was removed. Without it, the games become filled with very anticlimactic and unmemorable moments. But when it was in the game, it was more skillful and exciting from both the player's and the viewer's perspective. And you don't need to take my word for it. All in, and the other top tens have risen essentially in this moment here. And look at Cold go. And can he get one more? But no, this zone takes him out. Two HP. Are you gonna do this, Marvel? No way. Yes, I, I don't know. think so. The drop in. Gets the shot off and gets the elimination. Mongrel literally putting on a clinic of why you need to pay attention what to what's going this? on. Everybody oh, are you kidding me? Just fell. Picks up three balls. Launch pad, he's gonna launch pad off. Oh my goodness, are you serious? 13 eliminations, there's still four players left, including him. Add it down! No way! Are you doing this right now, Margo? No way! Top three situation now. Couldn't get the time for the, for the minis earlier in the lobby. And now reloading the double RPG as well. Zoo is gonna go down in another one. Margo! Are you Stop. kidding me? Fortnite's a game where no matter how bad it gets, it's always just a few changes away from being great again. And I think these changes could usher in a new golden age of Fortnite. But what do you think? If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.